put an extra 50% onto my tail levels, they're making us pay more, work longer and get less at the end of the return. Well, I mean the average pension scheme for the uh, NHS is £4,000 per annum. That is not a lot for someone to live on. Although this is PCS's demonstration in action, day of action tomorrow, this affects every public service worker, and particularly our female membership. But across the board for GMB members, this is a major issue which is being obviously driven at Scottish level but also nationally with our national officer Brian Stockton. Well, I would like to think on average our members' gold plated pensions equate to something like annually just about £4,500 where we already know where we can see in the back right behind us, Fred Goodwin, £13,500 week. I think the issue is about austerity measures. I think what this is doing and suggesting is quite clearly that in old age and retirement, our members are going to have a lifetime of hardship ahead of them with longer lives to expect on, obviously, poor pension arrangements. I don't agree with this issue that, you know, the private sector's had all the suffering. That's not always the case, but the issue is pensions is across the board. It's an issue for all our members. We will continue to fight in the private sector and in the public sector equally as hard for our members. Well, our message is one of support and solidarity uh, to our comrades in PCS and the Teachers Union who are taking this action. Uh, strike action is never a uh, you know, first uh, resort. Uh, this is a position we've been forced into uh, by virtue of the failure of the government to uh, negotiate in some credible way. Uh, and we recognise that this is part and parcel of the overall campaign against the cuts agenda being pursued with the Continental government. And indeed our members uh, will be facing the same kind of attack on pensions in terms of conditions as people in BCS are facing now. The local government pension scheme in Scotland is interesting, particularly given uh, John Swinney's recent announcement. Uh, we would share uh, what Joyce uh, Swinney's stated sentiments were, uh, i.e. that low-paid uh, employees in the public sector should not be asked to pay an increased cost of in their pensions at this particular time. Uh, and, and that is interesting given that the local government pension schemes, uh, according to our uh, uh, viewpoint, uh, are wholly uh, Scottish schemes, fully funded schemes, and therefore schemes that the Scottish Parliament could uh, you know, uh, take a decision that they should not be increased. They do not count against the Barnett formula and therefore there isn't any benefit to the Scottish Government in any shape or form of pursuing uh, that kind of agenda. Uh, so we would urge John Swinney to put into practice what his stated sentiments were and that is to say quite clearly that local government workers will not be asked to pay an, an, an increase in cost. Uh, however, I have to say uh, you know, that if he uh, pursues another agenda, then local government workers uh, in terms of the night will be asked to ballot on industrial action in that sector as well. Incredibly important to PCS members because we're taking industrial action tomorrow to strike the alternative on pensions, jobs, and pay. But it's wonderful to know that all the other public sector unions are standing behind us. The atmosphere here is tremendous. We're delighted to support for them. This has been an amazing experience building up to this action. We have never seen such a response from our members. We have put a pensions calculator on our website, and people are realising that they stand to lose thousands upon thousands of pounds in their pension rights and they are extremely angry and they're going to get a massive turnout tomorrow.